While you relived all Obama's mic drop moments from the State of the Union, you probably missed the Kindle for the blind, the big drone show, and engineering sperm for increased fertility. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we have returned from Vegas feeling great, unlike this poor koala. <coughs> Can I get a <coughs> for sleeping in your own bed? Oh, God. <coughs> Home again. And now, in stories that may have been more appropriate for Vegas after all, advancements in sperm swimming to help people trying to get pregnant. A team of German researchers are giving slow swimmers a turbo boost with tiny metallic coils. They fit on sperm tails and act as microscopic outboard motors. When the coils are exposed to a magnetic field, they propel the sperm towards the egg and slip off as the two cells merge. Researchers say the magnetic field is perfectly safe for all cells involved. Fortunately, it will not lead to Robocop babies, which is probably real good. Fireworks are so 11th century, guys. And that's why Intel worked with a group of artists and technology researchers in Austria to create an outdoor flying drone light show synced to perform with a live orchestra. Four Future Lab pilots controlled 25 drones simultaneously. For artistic flair, the software translated drawings into 3D space, precisely choreographing each drone's position and movements. The 100 light-equipped drones danced and painted 3D shapes and messages in the sky near Hamburg, setting a new Guinness World Record. Sure beats squirting milk from your eye. Something's wrong with that guy. The visually impaired are about to get a much needed boost to the tech that helps them read the world. This is a braille display from the University of Michigan. Something similar already exists, but it's only for one line of braille at a time, and it's expensive. Michigan's microfluid bubble display aims to both keep costs down and create a full tablet for Kindle-like reading for around $1,000. And with that, LeVar Burton probably cried some more. It's all good. Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. And finally, have you seen this augmented reality tattoo yet? It's of a comic book character from Modern Palaxis. The same visual from the matching app brings the character to life both in book and flesh form now. I will not be afraid. I'll just keep telling myself the muggles are finally catching up. This episode was brought to you by Go90.